Ron and Mane, is he okay? Will he start? They were never mind games, to be honest. The players left the pitch in, in a week ago. Oui, ces joueurs étaient blessés. Them that they are not seriously injured. So, um, especially with Kylian, that could have happened huh? in, the, in the situation where you go down like this. And so that's it. We always expected them to play. And um, Sadio is was in the plane. So if nothing happened from, I, I, but I left the plane and went one and a half hours to the press conference. So I'm not 100% sure how he is now. When we saw him last, he was fine. With Jordan being suspended for the weekend, does that guarantee him a start tomorrow night as well? And also, I just wonder what the thinking is when it comes to team selection, because obviously that midfield three did so well in the first game against PSG. So it'd be very tempting to go with the same three again. But then is there also that thought, well, we need to do something different this time around? Is it the first press conference we two have together? I, I talk, I speak about lineups in a press conference. Or I'm not asking for the lineup. I was only one and a half hours I'm in the car, <laughs> not four days. I'm asking, I'm asking about the dilemma, the thought process, because as I say, that that three did so well in that in that first game against PSG. Mm. But then you obviously have to take into account whether you need to change it as well. I'm just wondering what you go through in terms of that thought process. Yeah, that will still, you were still wondering the whole night because I will not say anything about, <laughs> about that. So we will see which midfield and offensive, which system actually. We have now at least one other system or whatever. We, can, we could really line, in a few different way, line up in a few different ways. So um, I understand your question, yeah, but I... So you take the mick out of me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll still not answer. Final one, Vinny. What then, what impact? The fact that whether you lose to, tomorrow night or not, it doesn't affect the fact that the, the qualification for the next phase is in your own hands. So how does that affect things going into the game? We don't think too much. We know that, but we don't think too much about it. I think it really makes sense because we, we, we are sportsmen and we want to be, um, we want to, win games and that's uh, quite a while ago that we won the last actually so it's like four or five weeks ago and between then we played one time in, in Belgrade and it was a really bad one and um, so yeah we know about the fact about the quality the rules and all that stuff and um, but we are here tomorrow night to, to win a football game with all we have that's what we try we don't go for a specific result or whatever so we want to be as good as possible and um, just for us, in the first case, so and for our for our supporters that we really can show, and because it is a it's a, a real it's a tough one eh, to come to Paris and and I'm going for a result, but we I think we should try. Now we are here, let's try. Okay, we'll take two from John Murray, then David Lynch from the Evening Standard next to him, and then down to the gentleman and in, in the four row. Four hours to first French question. Yeah, yeah, so it's really nice. said, well, if they would I like spoke to, already to nearly all English. If they would guys. like to raise their hand, we'll take their question. John the Murray, ask it in French if you wish, John. Uh, you're going to can't do that, I'm afraid. Um, neutrals will look at this game and think it is brilliantly poised in terms of the strengths of the two teams. Give us an overview of what might lie ahead tomorrow night. I have no clue how could it, but I love most in, fo in football, to be honest, that you don't know what will happen in the end. But of course, two very ambitious teams um, will face each other in a very, very interesting competition, in an interesting situation in the group, to be honest, because um, we, not, uh, we and Belgrade brought Belgrade back in the group, to be honest, so that's, that's how it is. So it's, uh, we, we, go, we go for everything and that's how football should be, I, I think, in, in a... Yeah, in a uh, very often when you see groups in um, after the draw, you think, okay, you know immediately who will go through. The, the first two are pretty clear, and m most of the time, and in this group, it was from the beginning clear that it's a difficult one, and now that's it. And we are here, and we never moaned about it. We didn't even think negatively about it. We wanted to. We, we were looking forward to the game in Paris. It's, we don't play here very often, and it's a it's a big task. It's just. Um, um, really exciting and how I said a few times the more difficult it is the more I enjoy the preparation just because you have to think about pretty much everything and not it's like you have to think about how to defend um, this and that how, how to avoid this and that how to 
play football by yourself because that's the big most important thing and probably the thing which Paris is not used to that much in the league because they are so dominant that it's and we have to make sure that they are not that dominant against us that we have our that we have possession and we do something smart with that so that's that's all in our mind and that in a, in, a, in in two training sessions or actually in one today so it was a, we enjoyed that the weather was not too good in in Liverpool in that moment but the boys were 100 focused we had 60 70 minutes on the pitch really fully concentrated and hopefully we can see that tomorrow night so when you are preparing for a match like this, when you are preparing for a match like this with the individual talents that you'll face, how much concentration do you put on those talents? No, look, the, it's much more difficult um, to prepare a game where the players, my players don't know the opponents, which happens from time to time. And we, we give the boys always videos, individual videos from players like, is he going more on the right side, left side, stuff like that. But for this generation of players, watch probably 500 thousand YouTube videos of Mbappé and Neymar and, um, and Cavani and all that stuff so it's not that important they know they know more about these players and individual strengths than I do but the thing in football is they only can shine um, when you get the ball so you can shine without the ball but until you get then you get the ball in one moment and um, so that means we have to we have to defend them that's how it works you can close spaces it's difficult and if you don't close it one time with not only the quality but the speed of them then they are away if you if you are not compact it, you have no chance so that's all clear but you have to be brave by yourself and that's what we um, what we did in the first game it was we, we, we were so attacking minded even in our defending it was constantly we were constantly front footed really stepping in and winning the ball back and all that stuff it's difficult then to play and we don't talk about it I'm completely happy with our individual quality but I believe 100% in in the group and that's the same probably for Thomas Tuchel with, with, with PSG and so that's um, and it's not decided before the game but it's interesting to, to, to watch I'm pretty sure OK, Dave, we're going to take David from the Evening Standard then when we've got the next three sorted, which is the gentleman with the headphones, then the gentleman behind who's also got headphones and the ladies in front. So, Yes, David. Jürgen, um, Adam Lallana has obviously not made the trip. Was he, was he close to being fit? And, and is there any issue with Dom Solanke either? Yeah. Um, Adam, I think, is back on Thursday in training, but what I heard last, but it's obviously after the game tomorrow, and um, Dom has a little groin issue um, happened in training. Diff is not here. He's ill. Um, what is Adam's injury? Is it nothing anymore? Actually, he's only on the way on the way back. It was a little, a minor muscle thing, nothing serious. Okay, we're going to take the yes gentleman here who's leaning for the microphone. That's fine, and then it's going to be the gentleman behind for the next one after that. Yes, sir. Bonsoir, coach. Good evening, coach. So my name's got injured. So how does he feel now? Uh, sorry, I'm just I'm Senegalese. So I want to know. So it's a very important game tomorrow. How are you going to play against Paris tomorrow? He will be fine. If he plays, we will see, but he's fine. You know, personally, he was in the plane and everything is fine. So, uh, good news to Senegal. Um, and actually, how would want to play brave against uh, Paris? That makes sense huh? in, in all different departments that we really try to, yeah, to enjoy the game on a, a, very, a very difficult game. Because in, in, a, in a game like this, you need, uh, your, your, you need to be at your best in pretty much all departments, but especially kind of frustration tolerance that you really are not annoyed by yourself or lose confidence in a situation when they pass you with a ball or with a run or whatever um, and that's always a big challenge but so far we enjoyed these these games always like we enjoyed it against City like we enjoyed the last game against PSG and it's it's always difficult there's never you can, it's not that you play PSG you win 3-2 and you think ah we got it that's how you beat them 
it's actually, uh, it stays unbelievably difficult. Um, but I think really, and that's important in that case, Paris knows as well that we are not easy to play. And that's what I have in my mind as well. So we, um, we have to be at our best, 100%. But if we are, then we are really not so nice to play. And it's not a big joy to play against us. And that's what we have to try to be again, a really ugly to be football team. Okay. If we could pass the S gentleman's got the microphone then. Bonsoir, coach. Good evening, coach. Here's the erotic voice again. So what's your view about the PSG, Champions League doesn't perform that well. And you perform well, so can you please help them uh, and give them some advice maybe? Uh, interesting. No, yeah, no, no advice, no advice. And so, um, not in a position to give advice to other teams. Uh, maybe you want to ask me. I could give advice how to win finals. Uh, that would be funny as well. So, um, but usually we are, we are, we are. Um, how I said, we know it's difficult, but we know um, that it's really, uh, it's still possible. And that's actually the only thing I need to know to to looking forward to a football game and. Um, so it's long ago that I was was here with Borussia Dortmund, played here a, a, a football game. It was different times, obviously. Yeah, it was 2009 or 10, something like that. So it's really long ago, but um, it was good, and um, we nearly won. <laughs> um, and um, hopefully tomorrow we can um, perform really on our highest level, and then it will be an interesting game. That's all. Okay. The lady here in the third row who has the microphone already. Okay, last present with the voice. So from the first game was very different. So now maybe PSG is going to play differently. So what do you expect from them, given that both teams have played very differently lately? Was going for uh, um, playing for a result, but tomorrow actually I think they they, sh they should win. So, but that's their nature. That's their nature to to go for a win, and uh, they played like that at Liverpool as well. Which I didn't see that they played any different. To be honest, they played how they play. They're on a very high level. They have uh, ball circulation. They keep the ball. They they had. Uh, different plans in that game obviously and we had to adapt to all of them and we did quite well and I think we we had big parts of that game but of course we scored the last goal but um, we had apart from apart from the goals we scored we had still chances and that's actually a sign for a good game that you are really that you are really in it and that you are really um, where so I expect them to attack and I expect them to defend when they have to and um, it will try creative, and Thomas Tuchel is a, is a very creative manager. He always works on solutions, and um, so that means that we have to be prepared for really different scenarios. And um, we try to give these these advice and these information to our players. And tomorrow night we will see if it worked out. Okay, we've got the final two questions. Gentleman who's got the microphone, and then gentleman who stood next to the. The BBC Africa, I'm here. Uh, earlier on, uh, Thomas Tuchel uh, said uh, it's very difficult to uh, control the results of matches like tomorrow night. But he's, and he suggested that your loss at uh, Belgrade was perhaps because you were not uh, at your best psychologically. On a night like this, how would you prepare your players uh, to go into a match like this to be at their best psychologically? <laughs> <clears throat> so you ask, ask me how I managed it that my team was not at their best in Belgrade and in the last four weeks I'm now smarter and know how to do it again so things like this happen There's things like this happen you, 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 you try to avoid it with all you have and it happened and you, you, are, you witness it and you think wow and you want to change in half time and you know have all the information from the first half and you give all the information you have and 
you cannot change it because that's dynamics and that's why you have to try you have to try to to, to have a completely different style but it's a completely different game nobody not even not one single player nobody outside <coughs> It expects us to be tomorrow the 500% better football team. So I think we expect that it will be tight. If both teams play on the highest level, then it should be a good game, actually. And then little mistakes can make the decision, can be decisive. That's how it is. I'm not worried. And my team, I'm now together with them for three years and one and a half months roundabout. And in this time, they were always psychologically ready. And if you then, if, if they weren't there at their best and for whatever reason at Belgrade, yeah, then I can easily accept that because um, that's only one time. Napoli was a completely different game, strong opponent, nothing to do with the Belgrade game. I have to accept that and I have to, don't have to put the finger constantly in and say, but don't forget Belgrade was rubbish. Yeah, so it's over it's uh, it's uh, it's gone we played already a few other games won all of them and um, the boys performed really well so why should i um, talk about that we will be ready tomorrow night i i'm pretty sure okay and the gentleman on the, uh, the the wings there for the finish up sega jalou football factory guinea uh, vous avez parlé récemment you have talked about kate recently we using protective terms protective vocabulary do you think he can adapt or is maybe has not reached the level to play tomorrow? The, this, he is an outstanding player. By the way, congratulations for the qualification for the Africa Cup of Nations. First time in how many years? Huh? Four years. Four years. Oh, good. Then it's congr <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Then we are not there the last year, right? Last competition, last tournament, you were not there, right? So good. So you are there again because of Nabi, for example. And um, he's an outstanding player. He was. Um, I, I don't read English press, but this week I, I catch the headline and I said something. What I said, I don't. I, I didn't say it like this. Or I didn't mean it like that. Nabi was not average since he's in. The situation after he got injured was average because it's uh, you have to get fit again. But the start was brilliant, and he will be um, a massive player in the future for for LFC. And he is already because he's now really fit. He looked in training. He looks in training sharp. But how it is in a club like like us, then we, you have to. We have sometimes you have to wait a bit longer for the moment, and then if you get the moment, then you have to be ready. That's how it is. He's an outstanding player, and I'm really happy to have him. Okay, thank you very much. The, and thank you to the translator at the at the back in the box there. Thank you. If you'd like to take this with you, you're more than welcome. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you.